We're gonna go to a movie on a very romantic night what? with me and friend wife. That's that one right there. And we're gonna go see the Jesus Revolution. Revolution. And the phone goes doo -doo -doo -doo. and that's fine. But so you, uh but don't forget to turn off your phone for the film. Oh yeah. And uh so I saw the preview and it has the guy that plays Jesus in the chosen and it has Fraser Crane and they're gonna talk about oh, yeah. loving Jesus and hippies. Mm -hmm. Based so, on a true story. Yeah. I, don't I mean, know, based on a book. I don't know much else about it, but I will tell you all about Well, me and wife will tell you all about it when we in get back little, in the car. Yeah. Yeah. I go to the movies with friend wife. Who would have thought? So, here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So, for what it's worth, I'm the Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. The Jesus Revolution. The Jesus Revolution. Very romantic day night. We saw it. We did. And I really liked it. Did you, did you like it? I really liked it. Wow. Did you really like it? I did. We've been seeing lots of good... I think some of my favorite movies this year have been with you. Ah, Is it because I'm a good movie picker at her? No, it's just oh! because the quality of movies that you wanted to see have been better this year. <laughs> so. I see. <laughs> I see. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, so uh, this movie, it has a guy from The Chosen as, as a hippie. Mm -hmm. I forget his name in the show. Yeah, Lonnie. Lonnie. There you mm -hmm. go. Based on a real person. Mm -hmm. And then Fraser Crane mm -hmm. is based on a real person also. Kelsey Grammer. Is that his name? Uh, yeah. And then there's this younger boy, and he's based uh, on a real boy. person either. Yeah, Greg also. Laurie. Yeah. I mean, is the real person. Yeah. Yeah. So, interestingly enough. Interesting. This movement here, here spawned three of the biggest churches in California history. It's the Calvary Chapel movement, the Harvest movement, and the Vineyard, the vineyard movement. So mm -hmm. how about that? How about it? Yeah, so I, I, I kind of known about that this had happened. In the 70s? Yeah, but I didn't know, like, all these characters, like, they all knew each other. And, like, met up to inner, yeah. Inner, inner, yeah, I, I didn't, what's that word? I didn't realize about that. Yeah. Yeah, so that was kind of interesting. But, uh, Intertwined. Yeah, so I thought the movie was really good. And it was, you know, I liked... It was nicely done. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was like good theologically too. Uh huh. It was uh -huh. meaningful. Uh huh. That sort of thing. Most Christian movies are pretty bad, but this wasn't propaganda. It's based on a true story. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like yeah, it's interesting because um, the uh, stuff that's based on a true story is usually the better Christian movie mm -hmm. than Christian fiction. It's just the people making it. It's just you try bad. to you do a little overkill, a <laughs> little over. Yeah. It's just like, tell the story. Yeah. It's too on the nose. You're, it's, it's, too... you're, it's become propaganda instead of storytelling. Storytelling, yeah. But anyway. Anyway, this was great. Yeah, it was um, great. I liked... I was a little confused. But great tell the people. It was, great tell, my It friend. was mostly because of my assumptions. And part yeah. of it was from the marketing campaign. So the movie was marketed about the guy and his church... Uh, yes. you know, and, and, how he, and how he lets the hippies in. Okay, so that is, but that's the B story to the, to the, to the movie. Well, most movies have an A and B story yeah, sort of thing. So it's like, I was thinking that was the A story and that is how it's marketed. But the A story is actually the Greg Laurie character and him and that girl. And the, like all the, yeah. the movement. So I was assuming that was the B story because it was, you know, the love story they put in all the movies. <laughs> yeah, but it was for real. Yeah, but I I didn't I didn't understand who that guy was at mm -hmm. first. He was yeah, just yeah, a yeah. teenage kid sort of thing. Yeah. So I was like, okay. We had the and, A and the B. We're yeah. Confused. And so I was like, well, it seems like this story is going to end pretty soon. But we got a lot more movie left, so what are we going to do? <laughs> but it just and then it yeah. kept going, and I was like, well, oh. for me, the the scenes in the church, there was because like in the trailers, there's this part where the the iconic like crotchety old man oh i can't have these hippies yeah <laughs> and then so then there's a the part where 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 that guy 
gets up and sits on the other side with all the hippies and puts his arm around him. And it's like, you feel like that's supposed to be like the climax of the movie, right? We're going to build up to this. Then like that happened pretty early on. Yeah. I was like, oh, I thought that's where we were headed. Yeah, well, I thought, we're I gonna thought do, it was we're like... We're going to do something else. When it was like the big triumphant moment when they're like baptizing everybody uh-huh, in the ocean uh-huh. and they got this big tent thing. Mm-hmm. But I didn't, I was like, oh, well, this is just a heartwarming movie. There wasn't too much drama. But things, things start going, and that's because I didn't know the true story about yeah. any of these, People. any of the six. So there was some actual conflict. And, you know, egos, whenever stuff starts getting big, people's egos get in the way. And they didn't demonize anybody. No. Nope. They didn't, it was just kind of like, maybe they took things too far. They had it justified in their mind for why they should do things, you know, all that sort of stuff. And then, you know, just people... Human problems. That's a, you get confused because the guy plays Jesus in the other show. Yeah, but he's not. But he's, he's not Jesus. <laughs> yeah, in this. he's not. He's just a person. He, he's just a person but, with long but, hair. Yes, but you think he's is like, well, Jesus can't sin. Oh wait, this isn't supposed yeah, to be Jesus. Like, this, this is, is a person. This is a human guy with yes. human guy problems. Yes. And yes. E- and ego and you know all that sort and of stuff. I mean, he's a pretty so, great guy. Yeah. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but that is kind of tricky because in your mind you're like, yeah, this is Jesus. No, nope, yeah, no, nope, yeah. it's actually well because nope, he says not. really good things like Jesus. Yeah, that's the yeah, other, yeah. That's the other part. Yeah. So I was like, oh, oh, wait, 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 right. Wait, wait, wait. wait this wait, is wait. just some guy. He's yeah. not like a magical hippie. Right. <laughs> in, he in is a movie not a magical hippie because in it a movie. is also it's also mm-hmm. based on a true story. Because if it was a fiction story, you could totally see this guy just being. A Jesus figure that kind of comes into people's life and then disappears after he like a care bear. Kind he, of yeah, he t- like, he says he did the thing and he then... says amazing things and then he's gone. Uh huh. You know, and it changed their lives. But it, that wasn't what was it's going the on, but... humanity, yeah. and it kind of makes you think about real life. Like when people look up to you, like like nope, we got to keep pointing them to Jesus. Don't look. Nope. Mm, yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Don't and put you your can, face at me. I thought I'll they did a down, pretty good job. I'll let you. I thought down. they did a pretty good job of, about showing him having an I internal mean, cool. conflict with that too. Yeah, I'm t- I'm making too much noise. My husband's <laughs> putting the brakes on me. Sorry. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, it was like people would ask him questions and he kind of hedge around. He's like, well, Jim, maybe. You, and then you know he he like turn around and be like, should I do this? Should I not do this? Should I do this? And then he just goes for it, you know, sort of thing. Yeah. So it was kind of. That was interesting. I thought I, wanna, I, I thought all the acting was very good. Yeah, yeah. I want to talk about one of my favorite parts. What was, yeah, what was so, your favorite part? So pretty early on, when we're still doing the, we have the the churches letting the hippies in, and they're all coming, and then the 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 church regular folk are like, well, we're gonna, we, these people are barefoot and they're gonna stain the carpet. The dude, the new carpet. So oh. We must save the carpet, yeah, yeah. is what the pastor Leslie, says. Yeah, yeah, Leslie Grammar is like, oh, by all means, we have to, to save, save the carpet. The carpet. It's but like then, that's saving the people. He's like, we got to save, save the, the carpet. carpet. But then what I like, and then in the next scene, the it funny, showed... I guess, go, okay, okay, say you, it. No, you say no, no, it. You no. say it. I have a real yeah. life thing I want to tell you okay. about. You tell yourself. Okay, so then the, like the next scene, it shows, um, hey, washing their feet before they go into the church. Yeah. Which is a real moving like, Yeah, it's like a Jesus thing, too. Yeah. Yeah. And then I... And, it, and so it shows, like, this line of people, you know, coming in and washing their feet. It's like a real tender, like, moment with each person. Like, I'm glad you're here today. I'm glad you're here today. And really, it's... He's... It's a kind thing, but that's kind of his way of playing around politics because then their feet are clean and no one complained about the carpet. And then it showed the church people, like... Uh, like we've got our fancy shoes on we're gonna walk right past this we don't we don't we don't need our feet washed kind of thing yeah. like the symbolism there but then too um oh no all of the point i lost it no I, I oh was... <laughs> jesus jesus and jesus you know the thing is he's to save the religious folks too yeah you know so i just that was just a really neat scene because i'm like in some ways by him sh- the, the pastor character showing that kindness, he was kind of like, guys, the religious people, they're not as mature as you. They're not caught up yet. So we just have to do this thing. They'll get on board eventually. I mean, kind yeah. of, right? Because yeah. sometimes, as a former Pharisee myself, I appreciate the kindness and compassion. It took me a while to get there, you know? Yeah. So anyway, I like that. I have a real life story about people getting mad about the carpet. <laughs> so... Back in my traveling music days, we played at some church, right? Uh-huh. And it was down south somewhere. 
and I had this thermos full of coffee, mm. and, I, and I was drinking it, and the guy was, you can't have coffee in the sanctuary, sanctuary? Uh, which is funny to think about nowadays because it's like it was like you must have coffee it was in the early two thousands. Yeah, yeah, it was in the early two thousands, but it, you can't have you could you could drip it on the carpet. It was like seriously, this was yeah. so. But anyway, yeah. So let me oh, tell you how about times have changed. Old people in churches. They get so upset about the carpet. Yes. They they focus on the carpet. Uh-huh. And this uh-huh. is a thing. I remember hearing people argue about the carpets at like First Baptist. I, too. I was about to say that too. <laughs> something about I have it's some like, like flashy memory, but I don't remember. I don't remember what, it's what about. it was, but there I think was we were some gonna big get deal some new carpet. We had to decide what color or something. Yeah, I, don't was, it, I don't know. I don't know. That it was wine like, color or the or the blue, those seem to be the popular uh, choices. So, yeah, carpets anyway. are very important in churches. <laughs> to old fundamentalist churches. But anyway, yeah, but the movie, it was great. Uh, yeah, yes. I really liked it. Yeah. You should go watch it. Yeah, are we going to talk more about the movement? Probably not. The movement? Anyway, Jesus Revolution is based on a book about these actual... Yeah, these actual events. Movements. So. California. Wouldn't it be fun to be baptized in the ocean? A little salt water action? Oh, what if an octopus... Swim in your ear. I don't think this will happen. It well, it could happen. I don't know. Octopuses can don't, get real small. I don't know if I get octopi. I don't know if this could happen. No. I don't know. Anyway, anyway, we're getting off track. Yeah. But the movie, it's fair. It's really great. Yeah, you should watch it if you want to. Yeah, that's all I got to say about that one. Yep. Tune in next time to learn about. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Who knows? Hmm. Yep. Hmm. <laughs> Jesus Revolution. Oh, hi. That's embarrassing. <laughs> it's a movie that we saw on a very romantic date night. Yeah. Yeah, and so those are our thoughts and opinions that we put up on the Thoughts and Opinions pile. Uh, those will be better by everybody else, but you can tell us your thoughts and opinions. Yeah. And don't forget to, you know, like and subscribe the videos and make comments and stuff like that. And don't forget to wash all the suds down the sink so the cat doesn't eat them. Because the cat needs to eat cat food when you feed it. Otherwise, it'll get all bubbly bubbly. Yeah, and it'll have little bubble burps like this. And don't forget mm-hmm. to kiss your wife when she's washing the dishes. It's very romantic. Yeah, stuff like that. Mm-hmm.